babes welcome back to my channel it's only been two weeks and your girl is back with another new in Zara haul at this point you guys know I am an addict a Zara addict to be exact I just keep buying every time there's a new in drop I get so excited I actually even wake up like in the middle of the night and I'm like oh my god it's new in Zara like the addiction is real at this point so you guys are just gonna have to deal with a lot of Zara hauls, which I personally don't think you guys mind because I feel like a lot of people love when I do Zara hauls. And I mean, who doesn't love Zara? I think the whole world does. So when it comes to that, I think we're doing good. I do have some very exciting news though. In three days to be exact, I'm actually going on a little mini trip, a, like a mini vacation. And I cannot believe where I'm going. It's surreal because it has been on my bucket list for the longest of time. So the fact that I'm going to Lake Como is just blowing my mind. In three days, I'm going to be at Lake Como. Like, that has been on my bucket list for so long. And it just makes me really happy inside. And I'm so excited. I cannot believe I'm going there and I feel so blessed and thankful that I do get to travel because I really do love traveling. By the way guys, it's such a hot day, like I'm gonna be sweating today. I don't know what's going on with the Netherlands. It's very grey and dark but it's very hot and I hate it when the weather is like this. It's so disgusting. So. It struggles today, but hopefully I survive. So obviously there is a Lake Como travel vlog gonna be coming in the future. I'm so, so excited to film and show you guys everything about Lake Como. Um, obsessed. I just cannot wait. But without further ado, I think we should get started with this Zara try-on haul. Let's go! So let's start with the first item, which is obviously what I'm wearing right now. It is actually a matching set and it's so cute for summer. However, I feel like it looks very cheap in person. It feels a bit, I don't know, the fabric feels very thin. Maybe that would be amazing for summer because when it's hot, you're not gonna have like a lot of fabric on. So when it comes to being summer appropriate, I think it's perfect for summer. I'm not a big fan of it in person. I feel like on the website, I was really excited about this set. I was actually even thinking of bringing this set to Lake Como, but I don't think it's the right fit for Lake Como. So. We're skipping this up, but let me show you guys. So I have this halter top. It has a beautiful open back, as you guys can see in my mirror. It is a size extra small, and I think for me to fit is perfect. There's obviously not much to it. It just has like this string right here, which you can tie in the back. It has like an elastic here around the neck, and it has this beautiful like beading detail, which I think is what makes the top different and I do like the print as well the colors are very pastel -y, very spring summer so this is the back again very simple I do think it's sexy though and as I said it's perfect for those hot hot days like today like I'm dying in here it's so hot I think it's time for me to like start using my air coat which I feel like is way too early but then again Netherlands just goes one day it's very hot, one day it's very cold, the next day it's storming. I cannot even keep up with the Netherlands sometimes. But yeah, so this is the top, as I said, an extra small and it is $25.95, which I don't feel like it's worth the price. I feel like it's just very cheap looking and feeling. But that's my opinion. Maybe you would like it. And then I have the matching skirt. It has like this part that goes in front and you can actually tie this the way you like. So you can either make a bow or just tie it like this. And it does have like a hidden zipper here on the side. And obviously it's a short in the back. So very cute, perfect for summer, perfect for those hot days. There's not really much to it. I did get the skirt in a size small and I think the fit is okay. It is a bit too loose, but I feel like it's the perfect size if you wanna be comfortable because the extra small would be too tight and I will not be able to breathe. So I do prefer the sizing that I got. So extra small and small. So all by all, beautiful, cute set. I just expected a bit more. So for that reason, I am not going to keep it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this set. I am obsessed with pink. So the color of this top is just so dreamy. I love the color. But unfortunately, as expected, it's not fitting me. The zipper is just not coming up. You guys can see that in the back. Or maybe if someone helps me, but it's going to be way too tight. Even this part 
like I have jeans on and I would want to wear this with jeans or any other pair of trousers anything high waisted would not fit because it's so tight down here that I cannot even pull the top down maybe it's because I'm very white on my upper body so maybe if your body is different to mine then it would fit you fine but I always have this problem if a top is not made with a stretchy material then probably it's not gonna fit me I got this in a size small so I would have to get a size medium but then I feel like the cups would be maybe too big for me because I don't have boobs at all so yeah it's a shame because I think the top is gorgeous I love the sweetheart neckline I love this cut out. I just think it's very unique, very sexy, very elegant, and I'm just obsessed with the top. As I said, the zipper is not gonna come up. It's literally stuck there, so I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to break the top either. So this has to go back, but all by all, it's a shame because I think it's a gorgeous top. I might be in love with this dress, and it's definitely screaming Lake Como vibes. I think the fabric is amazing. It's very soft, very comfortable. It really flows. I feel like I can walk around in Lake Como, take cute pictures, make cute videos. Yeah, it's a vibe. What I love most about this top is actually the top, the dress is actually this bag. Because if you know me, you know that I love gemstones. And the fact that it has stones and like a knot detailing in the back, I think it's a beautiful, unique detail. It does have a hidden zipper right here on the side. But yeah, I love that stone detail. Obviously, they're not real gemstones, but let's just pretend it is because that would be amazing if I do have a gemstone dress. But yeah, I think it's beautiful. I think it's very unique that they put that detail in the back. And I think the length of the dress is perfect on me. It's actually like right above the floor. It's supposed to be a meaty dress, but obviously I'm short, so it's going to be like more of a maxi on me. But I am obsessed. The only thing is, I got this in a size small because I just knew the extra small would not fit me here because it has that zipper. And I was right because this area is very tight. Well, it's not uncomfortably tight. It's comfortably tight, if that makes sense. But I feel like because I went with the small, this part, especially on this side, I don't know why, but there's like a lot of like excess fabric, which I don't think is supposed to be like that. When I have like my arms down, you're not really seeing it. But when I do this, it's very obvious. I think that's kind of weird. But I do really love this dress. I think it's so cute. And again, perfect for spring, summer. I'm going to wear this a lot. Even when I go on vacations, when I go to Curacao. It's just one of those dresses that you will pick out of your closet and just put on a million times over and over again. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. This is a printed like draped dress which i thought the fabric looked very unique and special i think the colors are beautiful for summer it is a very short dress and it's not typical something that i would wear i just don't feel comfortable wearing a short dress because of my bum when i walk it pulls up the fabric and then i just have to keep on doing this the whole day um so i feel like that's way too exhausting it does look cute for like a party or an event but I just prefer like a longer dress, like a maxi dress. But you never know. Sometimes a, like a short dress can come in handy. I do think the print is beautiful. I love like the asymmetric neckline it has. So you have this shoulder strap right here and then this one just goes up here. So I love the draping detail. I think it makes it very unique. And this is the back. I think the fit is incredible. It really accentuates your your body in all the right places. I think the draping and the ruching really accentuates your like your bum, your waist. So I think when it comes to that, the fit is amazing. It comes in a small, medium, large. I got the size small and yeah, it's very comfortable, not too tight. I just don't think it's a very special. So I would not keep it because I don't really have anywhere to wear this to. I think if you do wanna wear this for like a special occasion or just for summer, you just wanna walk around and look cute, it's a beautiful dress, but it's just not a dress that I feel really connected to. So let's go to the next. Another perfect set for summer. I love the colors on this set. It's very vibrant, very summery, which obviously is perfect because summer is coming soon. I'm so excited. So it's basically a matching set. You have this beautiful scarf top. It's literally a scarf top. You just tie it in the back. The only difference is it does have like a little secret. It actually has adjustable detachable straps so when i read that on the website i was like 
wear. I'm not seeing the straps. And then I looked on the inside of the top and it kind of has like these small loops which I was like, okay, great. Do I have to buy the straps? I don't get it. But then I look closer. So this is the back. And I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little like pocket there, which actually has adjustable detachable straps. They're like literally from the same fabric. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's like an extra addition, which makes the top look a bit different. So either you wear it with straps or without. I think maybe if you have bigger boobs, you would prefer the straps. So yeah, it's awesome to have that option. And now you have these flowing trousers. It does have an elastic waistband, very comfortable. And you have these adjustable drawstrings so you can tie them up just the way you want. And yeah, they're so cute. I got the bottoms in a size small and the top in an extra small. The length of the trousers are also perfect. They're like literally right there on the floor so i could wear these with sandals with flats and i will be fine but yeah i think it's a beautiful beautiful set and it's just perfect perfect for summer i really wish it was a sunny day because it's so dark outside and we're literally wearing like bright colors so it's not really imbalanced but i am kind of obsessed with these two pieces so i have this beautiful crochet top on i love the colors i thought it looked very unique very different perfect for summer obviously it has a straight neckline and you do have these thin shoulder straps and then the back is so stunning look at the back so you have thin straps that are adjustable and you can tie them i'm not gonna lie it was a lot to put the top on because i had to loosen up the straps a whole lot for me to fit into the top it is a size small um, I finally got it on. It does fit me nice. But the one problem I have is that the shoulder straps keep falling off, which is not ideal because I feel like I don't want to be concerned about my straps the whole day if I have this top on. So that's a shame. I think it's me because I don't have boobs because I feel like if you have boobs, then maybe the straps will be sitting better in place. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I love, love the back. I think it's so pretty. It's definitely a perfect addition to your wardrobe. And then, this might be one of my favorite items out of this whole haul today. I got my hands on my first denim skirt. I have been searching for a denim skirt for so long. They're obviously in for spring, summer. I've seen a bunch of different ones. But this one caught my eye because it has this beautiful, like, crossover metal button detailing and it has a vent in the front so i thought it looked stunning i love the way it looks it does have two back pockets as well and it's not too long and i think because of the vent it's very comfortable to walk around i've seen a lot of like maxi like denim skirts that kind of look uncomfortable to walk around in and i know myself that i don't like feeling uncomfortable so if i don't feel comfortable i'm not gonna wear it i'm just gonna leave it in my closet and i obviously don't want that i really want to wear the items that i keep so i think the skirt is so pretty i just love the way it looks on it's so comfortable i did get this in a size small as well and i think it really suits my body and it's it's just so comfortable so i think the skirt is definitely a keeper i'm not gonna keep the top just because the straps keep falling off like it's literally coming off again it's just exhausting i do love the top though so it's a shame and these two together how cute it's a look so yeah definitely keeping this one i am so in love with this skirt introducing princess christine i literally feel like a goddess a princess a queen it's just giving me vibes i mean this and lake como with this back you guys can probably sneak peek at the back i kind of am obsessed with this dress first of all the color is to die for it's so elegant sexy very glam yeah i just love the dress so it's a combined satin and it has like this matching tool fabric on the bottom so very unique combination of fabrics it has a very low um, v-neck the only thing that i don't love about the dress is the underlining fabric because I feel like you can really see it right here and I kind of feel like it makes the dress look a bit cheap and it's a shame because the dress looks so glam and gorgeous but because of that I'm kind of doubting if I do like the dress as much so the back <laughs> can we take a look at the back like just just take a moment for this back it's stunning I feel like a goddess when I just look at the back it's so pretty 
my bum looks insane yeah I, I'm just so in love with this dress I mean look at that mm. I got this in a size small it doesn't have any zipper any buttons or any adjustable straps so you literally just have to fit into the dress and it has to fit perfect otherwise you cannot adjust it or fix it in any way so I have to say it's kind of a right fit on me it's kind of a perfect fit actually so I'm kind of surprised about that the satin fabric is a bit stretchy so that really helped and yeah all by all let me know what you guys think I think it's a dream dress before I move on I have this gem of a bag to show you guys it actually by the way started raining so if you're hearing rain in the back uh, I mean I guess it's relaxing so I'm not gonna say I'm sorry it's, it's a nice it's a nice background noise so yeah it's it's raining but uh, this bag are you guys ready this this bag is just a moment by itself how cute is this oh my god it's so cute I mean even with this dress I feel like it's very elegant it's very unique and I love unique pieces especially from Zara like sometimes they bring out these unique items and I think they're so worth it it is pricey it's 45 euros but I totally get why because look at the detailing on the back how pretty is that <gasps> I'm just so in love. I love the colors. I love the purple and the green, the detailing, the sequins, the beading. I feel like this is why we get bags at Zara because they're so cute. I just love unique items and I'm just obsessed. Your girl is wearing boxers. It's actually attached to the trousers, which is pretty cool. This style has been in a lot lately. I've seen people actually buying boxers and wearing it underneath their trousers and letting it pop out on the top, which it is very, it's like a more of a boyish, like unique kind of style, which I do love. I'm not as girly when it comes to fashion. I do love a bit more oversized baggy items like these pants. So I think this is right up my alley. I think it looks cool. I just paired it with a ripped top from Zara, obviously. I love these basic tops. They're so handy to have in every single color. Um, I actually do own them in every single color. So, I mean, <laughs> but I do really feel like you have to pair these pants with a white top. I just think it really combines well with the boxers. So the boxers have an elastic waistband. It's actually not a full boxer. It's just kind of looking like you have a boxer on but i do love the way they built this so you do have like the buttons it literally looks like a boxer i think it's so cool but it's actually just a piece of fabric that's like attached to the trousers so you don't actually have a boxer on but i think it's so freaking cool i love the concept of these trousers and they fit me so well the only problem is they're way too long as always which is a shame because I would have loved to take these trousers with me to Italy. I did get this in a size small, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, I got these in a size small. The only thing is, guys, they are 70 euros, which is very pricey for a pair of trousers. They are linen, so I guess that's why they're so pricey. And by the way, you also do have a matching blazer, which I think would be such a look. But I just don't need another blazer in my life so I just went for the trousers I do I'm definitely gonna keep them I'm obsessed with them I love this it's just very pricey so I don't know I, I'll have to bring a lot of other stuff back so I can keep these maybe that's that's fine but yeah let me know what you guys think are you guys into the boxer trend or you think it's weird <laughs> let me know if you are up for the trend or if you're gonna skip but yeah, I think I think they're cool. So after the silver and the gold metallic jeans went viral on Zara, on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, they had to bring out another metallic jeans because why not? They want to make money. I mean, it's so smart. So this is the newest metallic addition to the collection of jeans. And I think it's so cool. I obviously love the metallic trend. I got the silver one. If you haven't seen it, it's in my last Zara haul which hopefully you've seen it. These are beautiful. I was really doubting the sizing. So I actually got a 36 and a 38. This is a 36, which 
amazingly fits me because 36 normally doesn't in Zara. Sometimes it does. I mean, the silver ones I got on 36 and they were perfection. So yeah, I think they're so cool. I love that it's just like a denim color, but with the metallic added to it. So I think it's more like versatile, more easy to wear day to day because the silver and the gold is more like out there, especially the gold. I feel like the gold is the the most extra one out of the three metallic jeans. So if you like a more chilled metallic vibe, then I would say go with this one. So it was a 20, no, that price is definitely not correct. It's saying 22.95, but I'm pretty sure it's way pricier, but they kind of like stuck this on top of the price. Anyways, I got this in the 36. Um, yeah, it actually fits me nice. The only thing is it is mid waist. And because of that, when I bend over, I feel like you can definitely see my underwear because it's gaping in the back. And that's what I usually have with mid-waist jeans. I feel like it either has to be high-waisted or low-waist. Obviously, I don't wear low-waist because I just don't like low-waist jeans. I do like low-waist cargo trousers, but that's a different story. So because of that, it's, it's very gapy and I feel like I have to wear like a bodysuit with this or really be cautious of what underwear I'm wearing because I'm definitely gonna bend or sit and eat something and then you can just see in there, which is, it, it's not sexy at all. So you guys have to let me know. It does look beautiful on and I think it fits nicely, but yeah, that gaping is, is just really concerning me because I feel like I'm not gonna wear it a lot because of that. Before I forget, I have these cute rhinestone denim shorts they're so sparkly very cute i actually think that last year they brought out this exact same rhinestone design but in a regular like long jean and now they brought it out in a short version which i'm obsessed with i kind of prefer the shorts they don't fit me though they're so tight it's a size 36 i did want to try the 38 and see if that one fits me better but I just went on the website and they're actually out of stock, which is a shame, but I totally get why because they're so cute. So yeah, if you're looking for a great pair of shorts for summer, these are it guys. They're so sparkly, so cute. Imagine going to a festival with these. This dress screams a vacation dress. I love the print. I love the colors. I love the draping. It's very comfortable. I got this in a size small. Normally, I'm not into flowers on clothing, but I think this just looks very cute. I'm also not a yellow person. I hate orange and yellow. But hey, look at me embracing the colors of the world. <laughs> it does have like this knot detailing here on the left shoulder. So a very cute detail. You do have a side slit here on the left side. And my bomb looks amazing. So I think... Yeah, it looks so good on my body. Very comfortable. It's not too long. I love the length. It's a perfect length for summer. Yeah, this is a dress that I feel like you can wear this every year. It's not going to go out of style because it's not really a trend. It's just a cute print. So I feel like it's a great addition to your wardrobe. And again, me walking around in Italy with this dress. I think it's a winner. So I did already show you guys this beautiful metallic top in my previous haul. But right now I just popped it on so I can show you guys the skirt because I felt like they look cute together. So I'm wearing this satin, long satin skirt. It's made in this out of this viscose fabric. Um, I'm not really a fan of the fabric. I think it kind of feels a bit cheap. It's a bit see-through. However, having it on, I do like the way it looks and the way it fits. I love that it's very long and it's like a bit low waist, but maybe that's because I got the size small. Maybe if I size down, an like extra small, it would fit me a bit more high waist, but I actually prefer it to be like low waist. I think it's more of a vibe. It does have like a hidden zipper here on the side, an invisible zip. Yeah, it's, it's a basic cute skirt, but... Um, I don't like the fabric, so because of that, I'm not going to keep it. It's a shame because I do think it's very cool, and I feel like these two together is also a very cute look. I love how the colors are contrasting each other. Yeah, I think it, it's nice. It's just, I'm a bit sad about the fabric. I mean, it's not the worst fabric. It's just not, 
I don't know, it's just not my kind of fabric, if that makes sense. In comparison to the skirt I just showed you guys, this one is amazing. I was not expecting to love this skirt as much as I do. It's a long linen blend skirt and I'm kind of obsessed. I think this will be amazing, great addition to my wardrobe because I will definitely wear the heck out of this skirt. And I'm shocked because I did not expect to love it as much as I do. It does have two pockets, which again, such a big plus. So it has like a zipper, a button closure right here. I think it's so cute, it looks so adorable. I did get the size extra small just because the website said that it runs a bit big, which I'm gonna disagree with them because it actually fits me a bit too tight, which I was like, no, I really love the skirt. So I actually reordered the skirt in a bigger size so I can compare and then decide which one I want to keep. I do want to keep this skirt though. However, if the small is too big, then I might have to think about it because if the extra small is not comfortable when I sit down and this part is just too tight, I'm not going to wear it a lot. So that might be a big shame because I think it's the most stunning skirt ever. I don't know. I just love the way it looks. I love the material. It's so beautifully done like i'm just i'm just out of words <laughs> but let me know what you guys think and i feel like i can troll in this i think it will be such a great look for italy as well i just i feel like this is me i love it and even with this top i think they look so cute together so yeah definitely a keeper the only problem is i have to see if the small fits me better otherwise i might just risk it and keep the extra small because it does fit it's just it's a bit too tight but let me know what you guys think how cool are these cargo trousers with seam details so i actually already own these trousers but in a different color so last year they brought it out in a dark blue color and then this year they brought out this vanilla color and a light green color which i was happy about that because i actually wear those trousers a whole lot they're one of my favorite pair of trousers and I'm kind of obsessed with them. Every time I wear those trousers, someone asks me where they're from. So they're very popular. And I've seen a lot of people on TikTok um, wearing this one. So it has two um, side pockets, which I love these pockets. It has patch pockets on the legs and in the back, which love again. It has a elastic waistband and it has these drawstrings, which is very nice. And also it has these adjustable drawstrings on the hem of the pad. So a lot is going on and I think they're so freaking cool and they're not that pricey. So I feel like if you're looking for cargo trousers, these are the ones to get, 1000%. My dark blue ones, obsessed with them. So I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love these as well. And they look good on everyone. You can wear them like high-waisted or a bit more low-waist. I tend to wear them a bit mid to low-waist just because I feel like they look cooler like that, but it really depends on what you prefer. But yeah, all by all, they are one of the best trousers I own. So I'm gonna think about adding these to my wardrobe or bring them back, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys love this color and maybe I'll keep them. The next item is this white crochet top. There's not really much to it. It's just a crochet top. It is not lined. This is the back. I got this in an extra small and it actually fits a bit oversized. So I would say size down or stick to your size. Um, but yeah, if you're into um, this kind of top, then this is it. But yeah, it's not my favorite. I was really excited for this set when I saw it on the website when it was new in. And I just went on the website, by the way, it's completely out of stock. So I guess everyone felt the same way when they saw this set because I get it. It's a beautiful, unique set. So you have this crochet asymmetric top and asymmetric skirt. It's kind of giving me called Gaia vibes, which is a very pricey brown. So I get why people went crazy for this set. I think it's so pretty, so I'm happy I got my hands on it. I got the top in an extra small and the skirt in a size small. They both fit me well. I think it's a beautiful set, very unique. I love everything that's asymmetric. I think the skirts fit the skirts. I think the skirt fits very well. It's very comfortable. It's not too tight. Obviously, it has like a bit of lining, which I don't really like how the lining looks. I feel like it's too obvious. But, I mean, sure. And it does have a hidden zipper here on the side. So, the skirt 
fits very nice. It looks nice from all angles. I love the asymmetric hem. I love this detail right here. So pretty. And then the top has this extra side right here. The top is very basic in the back. You can even wear this top with jeans or wear the skirt with like a basic top. I feel you can mix and match or wear them together. I feel like you can wear this a lot. I'm convincing myself, aren't I? <laughs> if you guys tell me to keep it, I will keep it. Just, just saying. So it's on you guys. It is pouring outside. I hope you guys can hear the rain in the background because it's kind of relaxing. But this beautiful short dress is a cotton and linen blend dress. And I'm kind of obsessed. I tend to like the older I'm getting, I'm more into these type of dresses just because they're so comfortable. You don't have to worry about how you look or, you know, like if something is too tight on your body. I just feel like so comfortable and relaxed and still looking cute when I have dresses like this on. So I tend to like buy these dresses more often lately, which I'm not mad about. I'm kind of obsessed. It's so bad, guys. I love so many items from this haul. I cannot keep all of this. I have to bring a lot of stuff back, okay? I don't have that much money. Like, calm down, girl. You need to work a bit more. <laughs> so I, you know, stuff has to go back. So I can't be loving everything, but dang, Zara's just killing it. Everything's so cute. I'm just... I'm conflicted right now, but okay. The dress is so pretty. I love the colors, very unique colors. Very Italy. <laughs> My excuse is everything has to go to Le Como. I love the embroidery on it as well. It's very unique. You obviously have a V neckline. I don't know, I'm just obsessed. This is an extra small, by the way, and even the extra small, like there's so much room. It's so comfortable. It is right above my knees, which I love. It's like the perfect length to just twirl around and feel cute. I love the dress. What do I do, guys? Like, I can't love everything. This is the back. Yeah, I kind of need to keep this. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a keeper? Or should I bring it back? This one is kind of giving me the same vibes as the one I just showed you guys. Obviously, it's a different color, different design, and it does have like this tie detailing underneath your bust. So you can actually pull the strings and make them a bit tighter, or you can leave it loose, whatever you prefer. I did get this in a size small. I think I might have been okay with the extra small. I just didn't know that this had a larger fit than usual. It actually says that now on the website. When I bought it, it did not. So... It would be better if Zara could mention that like right at the beginning instead of like selling a few items and then putting the text on the website because it doesn't make sense. But it's okay, we'll manage. This fabric is actually very soft and comfy, so I do like it. I also love the print. I think this is a very basic and classic piece to have for everyday wear and also in summer when it's very hot. I mean, this is just a very nice dress. The only thing is, after having the other one on, I 1000% prefer the other one. So I have, I have to choose, and obviously I have to choose. I'm not going to keep them both. As I said, I have to bring some stuff back. So I'm definitely going to keep the other one and then skip on this one. This is giving me red and boa vibes, and I love red and boa. Everything that's like sheer and like roughly and flowy, love. So it's a semi sheer long dress. Obviously, it's black. The cup area is actually lined. And it does have like this ruffling detail here on the chest area, which is a cute detail. It also has these strings here in the front, but they literally have no purpose and they're not cute. So I'm not sure why they're there. I do feel like the top area would look better if you had boobs. I feel like it's a bit too big and not really nice fitting on me. But that's just because I don't have boobs, obviously. But I do like the dress. And obviously it's very long, it's very flowy, and it's sheer. I'm just wearing my underwear, but you can definitely wear this with like black shorts or a black high-waisted short, something like that, whatever you prefer, is going to look cute with this. So if you're into the samey sheer vibes, then this is definitely cute to check out. I got this in a size small, and I do think it only comes in a small, medium, large, but it's very comfy though. And this is the back. Very pretty. I do like it just because it reminds me of Red and Boa and I love Red and Boa vibes. Last but not least, this is the last set, last items I have to show you guys for today. 
It's a very unique set and I kind of love it. I love when Zara does unique pieces like this because you're just different. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea and I just like unique items like that. I want to be different. So it's a... Let me see. How do I explain this? Basically, you have a black, like, white leg trouser. I'm trying to make make it make sense. Make it make, make, make sense. Anyways, I'm getting confused by myself. So basically, it's like a black white leg trouser but it has like this added like fabric that kind of looks like a skirt draped over it and you have this part that ties here on the side so you have like a knot detailing right here i just think it's so unique and it's creating this v-shaped effect which is very flattering on the body and you have this matching like bandeau top which also has this fabric going here to the side i mean you can tie it up anywhere you want but I decided to go to the other side, so I have like an asymmetric thing happening. And it's basically the same detail as the pants have. So this is a very unique set. All by all, I think it's so cool. The pants are not too long, so they're perfect for my length. I got these both in a size small. They fit fine. They're very stretchy, very comfortable. And I think it's just so unique. So it looks like I have like a skirt on top of my pants kind of thing if that makes sense and the sides are actually attached to the trousers which is a very smart thing they did because otherwise i'm pretty sure when you start walking that this would go up and it would not look the same so it's very like in place and well made it's very thought about very much thought about so yeah i don't know what do you guys think are you a fan are you not I think I'm a fan. So that was it, guys. Those were all of the items I had to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I am kind of in love with a lot of pieces. So I do think this was a great and successful try on haul today, which is bad for my bank account because now I cannot choose. So you guys have to help me. Let me know down in the comments which of the items was your favorite. Which one should I keep? please help me talk with me i want to chat with you guys down in the comments so please don't forget as always i would love for you guys to give this video a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed yet i hope you subscribe hit that bell so you can stay up to date with my upcoming videos as i mentioned i am going to italy milan and lake como in a few days so a travel vlog will be coming soon and my abu dhabi slash dubai vlog is also coming i'm almost done with my abu dhabi one so maybe it's gonna be up before this video or after this video so stay tuned for that as well and yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed i'm gonna wish you guys a amazing rest of the week and i'll see you guys real soon in my next video